John chapter 6, from verse 35 to 40. And let me say the Lord have for us today, entitled, God responds to our need when the need arises. Amen. 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 If you are there, say amen. 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 We are going to read from verse 35 to 40. I read. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless you, I honor you, I exalt you. I stand here not by my own accord, but by your own accord. And I'm not here to do my will, but to do the will that you have sent me forth for. Speak your word, Holy Spirit. Let it come forth with power, strength. Let it strengthen, let it encourage, let it empower your people. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every spirit that is out of God, Father, I cancel it before this crisis. Amen. You manifest yourself, Father God, Amen. like never before. Amen. We honor you. Amen. We bless you. Amen. We ask you, Holy Spirit, yes, take control, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So the book of John, chapter 6, verse 35 to 40, I read. Let's look into the word of God. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Amen. Amen. But as I told you, you have seen me, and still you do not believe. All those the Father gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. Amen. Say amen. Amen. 38. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. Amen. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all those he has given me. But raise them up at the last day. Amen. 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 For, for my father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life. Amen. And I will raise them up at the last day. Amen. You will be seated in the presence of the living God. God bless you all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Rest and sisters, prepare your heart to receive from God. Amen. Amen. You know, the Bible says that blessed are those who hunger and thirsty for righteousness, for they shall be filled with what? With God's glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I said, prepare your heart to receive from the Lord. Amen. Amen. And when you prepare your heart to receive from the Lord, I know that the Lord will surely supply your needs. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord will surely will supply your needs. Amen. 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 So we should be prepared to receive from the Lord. That is why the Lord entitled this message. God responds to our needs when the needs arises. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God responds to our needs when the needs arise. So if I don't need anything from God, I won't get nothing from God. Amen. Amen. If I don't need anything from God, I will not receive anything from the Lord. But if I need something from the Lord, and I test for it, and long for it, He said, I will supply and respond to your needs as you are testing to it. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, I repeat. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He responds to your needs when you yearn to it. You shall have it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When you look for it, you will have it. Amen. And when you ask for it, it will give to you. But you have to what? 
the journey for it. Amen. Amen. Your heart has to be ready to receive from the Lord. And when your heart is not ready to receive from Him, you will get it. Praise God. Hallelujah. So it's a God response to our needs. When we, our heart is opened to receive from Him. Amen. Amen. It says, I am the bread of what? Life. Whatever I believe, it comes to me. Or hunger or thirsty, I will pay your test. Praise the Lord. Which is, I first of all have to go to be thirsty for the Lord. For the Lord to answer what? My needs. Praise the Lord. Anyone want to also? He says, 
Proverbs 3, 16. Yes. He said, there are six things the Lord hates. There are six things the Lord hates. Yes. Seven that are detestable to him. Mama, wait. I did not say there are six things as a holy sins. No. Is my name there? No. no. This is for you. Praise the Lord. They will crucify you very soon. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He said there are six things the Lord hates. Seven that are detestable to him. Seven that are detestable to the Lord. A haughty eye. A haughty eye is the proud spirit. spirit. The proud look. Yes. A lying tongue. A lying tongue. Hands that shed innocent blood. Hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that divides wicked schemes. A heart that divides wicked schemes. Feet that are quick to rush into evil. Feet that are quick to rush in evil. A false witness who pours out lies. A false witness who pours out lies. Eh? Sister Mercy had done this when she had not seen, she had no evidence, but she's saying things to put the woman into trouble. They say the Lord hates what? A false witness. Please go ahead. And the Lord and the person who stirs up conflict in the community. And the person who always creating confusion, problems, agitation. They say all these things the Lord can overlook. But the one that is called proud look, that one is called detestable to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because somebody who allows his pride to cover a sense of judgment, the person is willing to join you to fall down to say, I am dying, help me. Amen. Amen. So the Lord said, I detest it. He said, I am the bread of life. Which is if I come to God, He will take care of me. But I have to let God know that I need you, God, in my life. Knowing that God does not know what Mama Mali is going to, God knows what you are going to. But he wants you to what? Activate the power of God so that he will manifest his glory in your life. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I have to now activate God's power to allow God to manifest in my life. Praise the Lord. So God said, he will respond when you have need. Why will he bless you what you don't need? God will not bless you on what you don't need. He only bless you on what you want. You are in need of praise all. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They said, I am the bread of life. So he being the bread of life, which is through God, you can have salvation. Amen. Through God, you can have what? Liberty. But that's what you need to believe that when you go to God, there is salvation. But when you don't believe in him, he said, I cannot respond to your desire. But he said, so have seen me. But yet, that's not believe in me. But those that God has given to me to be mine, those ones I came from heaven on this earth. And those ones I will make sure that I will not lose none of them. Say yes, Lord. Yeah, yes. So which is there are some of us we are really chosen by God. Oh, yes. Praise God. Some of us we are really destined and chosen by God. He okay. said there are some who the Lord has given to me. He said by those. I came from heaven to make sure that I don't lose any of them. That I will help them and raise them on the last day. That they will sit with me at my father's kingdom in heaven. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's not about you and me. No one else. It's not about me and you. There are some who believe in him and there are some who do not believe in him. When they are so, they are selected to always good or bad to be with the Lord. So they don't, they don't act by the environment or they don't behave by the circumstances because they know who God is in their hearts. And they act according to what? As the Spirit of God leads them. Amen. 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 And he said, hey, I won't drive them away. But I will praise them. Amen. It's a bread of life. He oh, yes. said, is anyone hungry? I will take care of your test. I will take care of you. You know, in the Bible, about the two fishes and the five loaves of what? Bread. 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 That a young boy was holding that Jesus took from him and he blessed. Mm -hmm. That was the launch of that little boy. Mm -hmm. The miracle actually is not about the boy or the launch that he was holding. But the miracle actually came from the people that were listening to Jesus. Yes. He was with them and he was preaching.
preaching to them, they are blessing the word of God for a while. So they became what? Hungry. And the disciples said, Jesus, this is what I'm hungry. They are many. We cannot take care of them. Should we send them away? He said, no. The word hungry activates the glory of God. And it's a giving.
to rebuke it, to reject it. And I know this. No spirit will want to go on to you. You know when you always say, I am sick, I'm sick, you can walk. Say it. And reject it at all costs. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because God has made you in his image. In his what? In his image. And you use the words of God against you. As David said, what game will you get when I die? What game will you God get when my enemies kill me? You need me to preach the message of God. You need me to help your people. You need me to change life. Now, if I allow your enemies to kill me, what benefit is it for you, God? You don't benefit anything. So then, you rather keep me alive to be able to do your will so that you can win so because you God said, when one sin is converted from sinner to be a child of God, he said the heavens and the angels rejoices. Why don't you give me a life so that I can convert more sinners into your kingdom? Praise the Lord. God will have no option to deliver you from that demon that will destroy your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So if you said it's a breath of life, which is he knows the blood that runs through your face. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He knows your beginning and he knows your end. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is why I say, come unto me. All he that was are heavenly labored. And I will give you what? Rest. I will give you what? Rest. That rest, you only get it in the presence of the living God. Can I tell you something? Do you know that collectively we are very powerful? Collectively, when we are together, we are very powerful. I know, I know that all of us will pray at home individually. But you cannot compare together when brothers and sisters come together and they are praying. They are not what they say. Even though you cannot pray, the other one can activate you to quicken you to start praying. Because he said, I don't shut it what I am. And I hear amen. And collectively, we are strong and powerful. As he said in the days of Pentecost, when the children of God came together, when the children of God came together, they were praying. And suddenly, the Spirit of God. The power of God manifested in their midst. And the Sanctus speaking of in tongues and prophesying and calling upon the name of God. Brothers and sisters, collectively we are stronger than individual. So when Satan wants to destroy one side, he don't destroy you when you are together with the brethren. But he only, first of all, make you isolate yourself from the garden of what? The bread and the place where the light is. Because when he has a preaching and you are single, it is easy for Satan to destroy you. That when you are together, collective power. Mm. You know, it's a capacity. Mm. It's a void. Mm. And the Satan needs a void, emptiness, to be able to, to, uh, to penetrate through. So first of all, when you are in a collective group together, as a church, you are more powerful, mm. strong, mm. and active. Because that group is full of prayer. And that prayer will always strengthen you and empower you Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So no less you isolate yourself, not by yourself, but Satan wants to destroy you. He will get you one way or the other to make you isolate yourself. Mm-hmm. And when you isolate yourself from the place where you know it's powerful and strong, that is not enabling you to destroy you. You are no longer under the umbrella of that power, of that glory, of the Holy Spirit. Then you become individual. When you are individual, it's very easy. That is why I always say that people who are single and live alone, I pray that God will continue to bring the right people in their life. Amen. So that they will not remain single and alone. Amen. Because being alone is not good. And as we grow, we pray that the Lord will bring the person that will be beside you, Amen. that will help you. He said, together, to, together we are strong. And together we are powerful. Mm-hmm. When one is weak, the other one strengthens the other one mm-hmm. and keeps you going. Mm-hmm. That is why God, when He was doing His ministry, He was never alone. Mm-hmm. And there are some of us who are selected and chosen by God that will always do the will of His Father. Amen. 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 So, brothers and sisters, if you hit the proud book, because the proud book don't accept. And admit that I need God. Even though they are dying. Even though they are drowning. 
When you need something from the Lord, he said, know how to activate his glory. Know how to call upon his name. Know how to what? Speak to him. And he will turn your situation around. Amen. 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 When you need something from the Lord, he said, you have to let him respond to your need. The Lord will not give me anything if I have no need of God. But I'd rather go to the one who really have need of him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So he will respond to my needs when the needs arise. When I tell him I need you, he will surely intervene on my behalf. When I tell you I need your manifestation, he will surely intervene on my behalf. So the Lord will move on your behalf when you tell him you are in need of him. But when I show to God that I'm not in need of him, the Lord will always waste his time on me. Amen. 